Hello everyone, my name is Flair Blitz here and welcome to Hide Heart. Now this is an RPG Mega Horror game made by Moonchild Games and without further ado, let's play into this scenario. I think there are multiple paths in this game that you can choose upon and every path you choose or every choice you make could lead to, to some different outcomes. I think there are four possible endings in total. It was Wednesday. I'm not completely sure. It was Wednesday, right? It was 21.25, though I remember that for some reason. Weird, right? Anyway, i just gone back to my dorm. And then the monsters came out and spooked me for the rest of the night, anyways. I was kind of annoyed because I had instant noodles for like the tenth time that week. So I decided to check my emails, get in bed, and switch between the, the same three apps on my phone until I fall asleep. The usual schedule. Okay, okay. So what is what if I decide that I want to do something else instead? I am Kate Hart, and if I pronounce Hart incorrectly, because I'm used to saying Hart as in like H-E-A-R-T rather than H-I-R-T, and I don't know how to differentiate between the two of them. So anyways, let us just look at everything that we have in front of us. Nothing is on fire yet. I don't need this. Maybe it's better to have a fire extinguisher on hand, just in case. Just book some things. Can we run in the game? That's what I want to know. Um... Okay, it seems like we can go from slow walking to walking by holding down shift. It wasn't isn't as fast as I thought it was going to be, but that's okay. I shouldn't really move my clothes in here. It's completely empty elsewhere. Boxes of clothes that should be in the closet, but they're not. But they're obviously not yet. I was actually blinking my eyes down on my keyboard, and I said I didn't realise how similar my dialogue was compared to the games. Uh, can I interact with a piece of paper? Nope, that looks like a no. Laptop. I should check my emails. Right, check email from Dr. M, from Todd, or from Mom. Dear Kate, I thought our session on Monday was very productive. I feel like you are slowly starting to forgive yourself. And this is a great step forward. Let me know if the same time... If same time on Monday works for you, have a good rest of the day, Dr. M. So it's like she probably has a mental illness or something has happened in the past. I believe that would be it. Check email from Todd. Hey babe. Okay, so partner. Not sure if you still check your email, but I just wanted to let you know that I love you. Lol. Just because I can. Todd. Okie dokie. And now, most importantly, from Mom. Ugh, fine, I'll send you a few bucks. Just because I love you, and I know you're getting sick of instant noodles. Love ya. XO, 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 Mom. Aw, oh, isn't Mom just the sweetest? A picture of me and Todd? Nah. A book. The Unpredictability of Humanity. I think Anne left this book here. Read it. Not yet. It could be the turning point for the game. There's a vent on this floor here. It's letting in a light breeze. Hmm. Nothing on the table. Go in the bathroom. Let's see what we got here. Check sink. It's just a sink. Check the medical cabinet. Well, there's some dental floss. I guess I'll take it. We'll take the extra strong dental floss. Inspect item in the menu for description. Thank you. And then check the mirror. Hello, gorgeous. I didn't mean to do <laughs> Now I regret doing that. I don't need to go. Yet. Mm, am I sure that my brain is connected to my bowels? So it could be the case where I'm absolutely desperate for a toilet, but my body's not telling me that I am. Just the bathtub shower. Well, where's my shower head? You didn't think that one through. There should be a shower head. Or well, maybe the shower head is on the bathtub itself. 
Like sometimes you have showers which is connected to a sink of a bathroom yourself, rather than actually the house. Okay, anyways. Bed! Can we go to bed? Am I ready to go to sleep? Absolutely not. Ugh, I'm not that tired yet, anyways. Okay, the unpredictability of humanity. I think Anne left this book here. Read it, most certainly. Sometimes the power of our emotions can cause us to do things we never thought we would. Then we would realize in an instant what mistakes we had made and immediately began to amend our misdeeds. In some instances, though, when we realize that we are too far gone for recollection, we embrace the misdeed and we become one with it. Be the mistake. Flow with the mistake. Be the mistake. <laughs> okay. Alrighty then, that's enough of that. Yeah, enough of that negativity for one day. Let us just go to... Wait. I've got the dental floss, so I want to make sure that I pursue it. Okay, I'll go to sleep. And by sleep, I mean scroll quick gram. Also known as Instagram. Until my eyes roll to the back of my head. Until... But demons have arrived. Who could that be? Who could... Shut up, folks. Who could that be at this hour? And where did the sound come from? Okay, I can't go into the bathroom. Let's check the front door. It was Anne, a new friend I met in one of my classes. Oh, hey, Anne, what? Oh my gosh, Kate, let me in. You're not going to believe this. Anne was always up on gossip, so I thought she was going to dish some dirt to me. But what I heard next, I just couldn't wrap my head around it. Jeez, Anne, calm down. What's up? What's wrong? Oh my gosh, Kate, it's madness out there. This is really freaking me out. Just tell me what's wrong. She was paler than usual, and her hands were pink and clammy. Just listen to this. She took out a little radio from her pocket and she turned the volume up. Breaking news. 22-year-old Jacob Miller escaped police custody tonight before. The night before. Responsible for the murder of girlfriend Ridley Adams and classmate Emily Smith. Police still trying to connection between the two murders as wait I'm getting an update they say the police are sweeping to search police advise citizens of town including university to stay off the streets tonight call your local police department if you have to of information of this man's location. Citizens are not advised to approach. He is considered dangerous and mentally unstable. Again, if you see this man, call the police immediately. Damn my computer. Damn! I know it's scary. Everyone's locking their dorm rooms and turning out their lights. We should be doing the same, right? Like this isn't some kind of joke, right? No, I don't think so. I don't think this is a joke. You should go to your room, Anne. Knock your door and turn out your lights, and I'll do the same. Okay, I guess. Just stay safe. Remember... You can text me if something happens, like if you hear a noise and it freaks you out, or if, well, like anything happens. Don't be so paranoid, Anne. If you hear anything, you can always text me. Thanks, Kate. Good night. Kate Hart. Night. Night, friend. I decided to turn off my lights and lock my door just as I told Anne. 
Okay, it seems we are missing a pitch of some sorts. Okay, there's been a recent update to the game which supposedly finished, or sorry, fixed the previous problem that we had of being able to upload an image onto the game when we talked to Anne. But now we have faced ourselves with a new problem. When the game loads up for the first time in new game, inside underscore C fails to load up. So a bit of advice to anyone who is doing a RPG Mega Horror game or any sort of project as well. Make sure to look for your code, make sure that you see all the images that the game is using and make sure they're all placed within the game. Otherwise you're just going to keep getting errors time after time if you don't check all your files. Not just for you developer of this game but for all developers out there. And Ah, okay, good. Third time lucky, third update. Alright, maybe I shouldn't go to sleep yet. Maybe I can lay in my bed for a while. Oh, I could use my lab... Laptop. The internet might calm me. Laptop. I wonder... Okay, never mind. Let's save the game from here as well. I wonder. Search Jacob Miller. Jacob Miller, age 22, charged with murders of longtime girlfriend Mindy Andams and her best friend Emily Smith, was accused on account of an eyewitness. While in custody, Miller confessed to the murders of both Mindy Adams and Emily Smith, but has not expressed a motive. <coughs> Excuse me. Autopsy results reveal blood. Bo sorry, both victims were stabbed in the stomach with a knife, and both victims died by a loss of blood. Alert! Killer Jacob Miller has escaped custody. Citizens of blank are advised to stay indoors and alert police on any information regarding his location. This criminal must be categorized as mentally unstable, armed, and incredibly dangerous. Citizens of blank and students of at blank university should take necessary precautions. What place is that? Mindy Adams. Mary Adams, aged 22, attended Blank University, stabbed to death by boyfriend Jake Miller. Her close friend Emily Smith was murdered this next day. Police have a few ideas in terms of motive, but none of these predictions have been confirmed. Did it confess to these motives? Emily Smith, aged 22, attended Uni Blank University, stabbed to death by Jake Miller. So I suppose that the actual university itself is a mystery we need to find out. Or it won't be found out at all. Police have not confirmed if Emily Smith and her killer had a personal connection. Police are still stumped on a motive. They're all... Um, yeah, they're all like that. So what can we do now that we know of that information? Can we go to bed? Well, somebody has broken in. What was that? Who is anywhere in here? Is he here? No, no way. He's trying to break down the door. I have to hide. Why can I hide though? Underneath a bed? That'd be a stupid idea. Uh, should I hide in the cabinet? That's probably a stupid idea, but we're going to try every possible route anyways. I think he's going to find us in such a simple location. No. I heard him go into the bathroom and I waited for a while for him to leave, but he never did. I knew he would find me eventually if I stayed here. I had to act. Text and... Um, probably involves dial sounds. Run for exit. Uh, run for exit might seem the most viable option since it's the only one that doesn't require a phone usage. Um, run for exit. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Run for the exit. Yes, it's a good idea. I have to run. 
Wait, exit. Is it? What is this flat like? And where's the exit? Is it down here? Well, we're running super fast. Is this map infinite? Is one of these? Is one of these different from the others? Yeah, I feel like this is infinite. The chase is. Oh, there's the exit. Okay. I accidentally skipped a five. That's fine, though. Damn it. Someone's there. Kate! Anne! Oh my god, Kate, are you okay? Anne, there's no time he... Hey, over there. <laughs> okay. His eyes stayed on me. I saw Anne, Anne panic for a second. Then I saw her take out her phone. Then she ran off with a police on her ear. I knew she was calling her out. I just had to stall for time. Stall him for time. He brandished his weapon. He was ready. But was I... So all I have to do essentially is not... Well, we can run fast with him, so all we need to do essentially is run around in squares. Unless he's got something else up his sleeve. Make him stick to the outer edges. Yeah, storing him is the best idea. Yeah, don't run too much. Wait for him to come near and then run. We can run faster than him. So we don't have to worry about being stabbed. Unless, of course, somehow he starts running faster. But again, sometimes he goes out of sight. Hmm. Yeah, this is doable. Ah, oh, he's trying to cut corners, huh? <laughs> and that's when they rolled to the scene. Lights flashing. Stay right where you are. Someone shouted from a megaphone as other policemen pointed their guns from behind the open car doors. Suddenly they were pointing them at me. I guess was I felt his arm constrict me. I could feel a knife kiss my Adam's apple. Drop a weapon, they shouted. I've never been so still in my life. I was afraid that if I took a breath, it would cut me, cut into me. Drop the weapon, they repeated. My heartbeat resonated through my whole body, but he didn't move. Drop a weapon or be forced to shoot. And just like that, he was dead. I screamed, I couldn't help it. They put a bullet right between his brows. And then he fell limp in the parking lot. I was crying before I knew what was going on. Then through the blur I could hear someone. Get out of my way! I have to see Kate! Kate! Oh my god! I called to the sidelines to meet Anne. She embraced me. Eventually I was given one of those panic blankets. I was pretty shaken. And that's how I ended up here. I see. It's just, I still understand why he went after me. What do you mean by that? Like, why me? Like, I told you before, and tried to distract him, but he wanted me. Miss Hurt. Kate. The police still haven't found a connection between the deceased victims. They're saying that he was just a spree killer with no real motive. He couldn't have. I'm sorry, but the police have made up their minds. Here's another question. Why do you feel like you were targeted? What? Do you think you are convinced yourself you are targeted to justify this unexplainable tra traumatizing experience that happened to you? No, I I'm not. Maybe this conclusion was made, made based on what we talked about in our last session. No, this has nothing to do with that. Please don't yell, Kate. Calm down. But I... I'm afraid that means we're out of time for the session. Please try and get some rest, Miss Hurt. No, I had to be. I had to be targeted. Did I just imagine it? When Anne tried to distract him, maybe he didn't hear her. No, but why? Why me? Only one. Maybe it's best. It's better not to know. Hmm. Yeah, simply getting to interact with him is just a game over. 
I heard him go into the bathroom, and I waited for a while for him to leave, but he never did. I knew he would have find me eventually if I stayed here. I had to act. Text Anne. I think the, the noises will indicate our presence. I typed a message with clammy fingers, and I waited. He was in the bathroom for a while, but then I heard him come into the room. I could hear him shuffling through my room. He turned the bed over, he knocked over the chair, he kicked the boxes down, and then it was quiet, but only for a moment. Hi. No, please, no, no. Yeah, I think... Yeah, that's all good. I just wanted to know when the sounds stopped, the scream stopped, and then the stab stopped. This time, call the police. Come on, pick up. Yeah, the noise is just going to attract him. And I never watch you. Ah, oh, yes, there's an intruder in my dorm, and I think he's the escaped convict, Jacob Miller. Please, I... Hmm... Yeah, making sound is a bad idea. There he is. Yeah, so it seems in that choice, obviously making a run for it is the best option you can take. Hide in the bathroom. I quickly dragged the wheeled curtain towards me for cover. Do you think he's going to be fooled by that, though? He's in the room. I have to keep quiet and not make a noise. I remember being petrified, as still as I thought I was, I was still shaking. He was slowly walking around, and had to time my breathing so he couldn't hear me. Listen, will you hear him making noise, breathe? Mm -hmm. Waiting game. Ooh. Do you think he's gone? Is that the police? Drop the weapon. Hands where I can see them. Step away from the door. What the? Ah. Hi there. Oh my gosh, Kate, you okay? Thank God. We were so worried about you. Are you okay? What happened? He tried to make a break for it. He came running out of your room, but the police caught him. The police have him now. Thank God. I hope he gets... I mean it, Jizz. He deserves it with all he's done. Oh my god, Kate. When we saw him break into your room... Oh god, I was so scared. As soon as he broke into the building, we called the police. Are you okay? Did he hurt you? No, no, I'm I'm fine. You save it, but are you sure? No, I'm pretty shaken, actually. Don't worry, Kate, it's over. And thank god for that. You're safe now, Kate. If you ever need anything, let us know. We're here for you, Kate. Thank you, all of you. It means a lot. Kate, if you want to stay in my dorm tonight, you can. 
I'd like that. I'm a little scared to be by myself right now. Can I stay with you too? Joel, you, you can't just invite yourself, but um... You want to as well. Can I stay with you guys too? Of course, we should all stay together tonight. Yeah, you're right. Thank you, all of you. I eventually told them the story the next day. They were very supportive of me and we became really close after that. Well, it's nice to hear that you're making friends. Yeah, it is nice. Now, Kate, okay, so have you considered letting these girls into your personal life? What do you, what do you mean? I mean about your incident. Open up to your therapist is one thing, but open up to a friend. I understand what you're saying. I've been thinking about telling Anne, but I don't want to scare her. Kate, what happened to you was completely, should be an E between T and L, natural in your case. From what you've told me, Kate, she seems to really care about you. I'm certain she'll understand. Maybe you're right. I think I'll tell her. I'm happy for you, Kate. Are we going to get the same therapist every time? It seems we are out of time today. Email me and let me know if the same time works for you next week. Sounds good, I'll let you know. Kate. Yeah? I'm really proud of the progress you're making. You've come a very long way. I feel like the worst is behind me. I feel like what happened to me last week with that Jacob man really proved something. When you spell happened, it has two P's in it. I'm proof to myself that I'm strong, but I'm smart. What's the other word beginning with L? We look... I'm, I'm joking, we're not loyal. I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. Thank you, Dr. M for everything. You're going to say his name? See you next week, Kate. Or do we only refer to him as Dr. M? Which ending was that? Oh, coincidentally, we got Andy too. Kate Hurt, the survivor. Hide an event. Four possible escapes. We suspect the vampire. He went into the bathroom, now's my chance to escape. Make a different save point here. There's two different routes. Does that mean there's... Right, where can I go? I wonder if going along a specific path will take too long, so therefore he'll eventually figure out that I'm in the vents. But where do these vents lead? There's only, from what I figure out, there's only three points where you can escape in a room. This one might budge. If we take too long, will he figure out where we are? Hmm. That run by. Ah, yes, it came off. I wonder where I ended up. Well, wherever you are has a skeleton in it. This dorm seems empty for now. Maybe I should hide in here for a while. That seems like a good idea. Yeah, but what if someone discovers us we're in here? Two dates are circled on the calendar. One is on September the 21st with red hearts. The second is on se September the 29th. And furiously circled in black pen. Whatever. Mirror. It's too dark to see a reflection. Printer. I wonder if somebody actually lives here. The computer boots up. Welcome, Mindy. Please input the password. I don't have a password. 
But it seems like we're in our friend's room. Or oh, wait, Mendy's one of the Yeah, Mendy's one of the people that died. There's a photo in the trash here. But it's stained with tea or coffee or something, so I can't make it out. There's also paper scattered on the ground here, look through them. First paper. The History of Early Painkillers by Mindy Adams. The essay itself is not very interesting. Um, through, as in through, as in um, that, is T H R O U G H. Second paper. It's a memo slip. It says, Hey, M, I know you wanted to use my computer today because you have a photo project due tomorrow. The password is 9273. By Mindy. Third paper. It's just old biography homework. Okay. We won't open up the computer just yet. There may be more things we can look at. The tea is cold. It's already started to evaporate. There's a stained ring just above the tea. What does that mean? Can walk over. Can I walk over one of the chairs? It's a biography textbook. A creepy. It's a skeleton. I don't think I need to go to the bathroom. Yeah, but what if you do? I don't want to go out there while he's still around, but let me lock the door. Oh, the door's already locked, that's a relief. Okie dokie. Fine then. Uh, 9273. A project was shown on the screen, a save video file. It looked like it was filmed with a webcam. I press, I press play. And that's pretty much all that's been going on lately. Without an E between T and L. I'll send you this vid I'll send this video as soon as I can. Love you, Dad. Bye. She clicked the mouse, but the webcam kept recording. Oh, that must be M. Or somebody that will kill you. Jacob, what are you doing here? Mindy, we need to talk. And why exactly should I let I let you in? Because I brought you your favourite meal from the main hall. Ugh, if you brought me the fried chicken again. No, silly, I brought the turkey with gravy. Oh, fine. <laughs> okay, so why are you really here? I told you I wanted to talk. I just... I just wanted to let you know that it was your choice. What you did, it wasn't really up to me. Well, that's not what you said to me the other day. I know what I said. You know I wish things were different. Stop. Just stop. Look, even if you got that job, I love what I'm doing, getting into this private university with you on a scholarship I never thought I could get. I finally got my foot in the door with that internship. I just need two more years of school and my dream do job is guaranteed. I know, love. You're right. It was best for our future, but it's hard not to wonder. Trust me, I wonder all the time. Let's just not talk about it anymore. But Mim, please, I... I said stop! Damn it, Mindy. Humor me for a goddamn second, please. Just shut up! I don't want to hear another second of this rubbish. All this rubbish about what if and if I could support us, things would be different. Did you ever think for a second how I wanted to keep the baby? Of course I know. Just stop, please. Damn it, Mindy. Every time. Making me look like a bad guy. It's always about you, isn't it? How do you think I felt? Even my family was with me when you were against me. My dad was there for me the next day. And where were you? Working. You were freaking working. And for what? Some dead-end work for a company you hate. And what have they done for you, huh? And what have I done for you? Everything. I drop everything for you. But you continue to fail to do that for me. And I don't think you could, you ever could. You can never truly be there for me. So shut up already. Just shut up. Stop yelling at me. Oh my god, Jacob, what the hell? Shut up. Stop yelling at me. No, 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 please. She was hysterical. 
screaming, gasping, sobbing uncontrollably. Stop yelling at me! And you stabbed her. Mindy? He stood over her, just looking down. He stared at the knife in his hand. It was a simple meat knife from the tray he'd brought her. Then he knelt down, kneeled down beside her. He kept stabbing her. The video went on like that for five whole minutes until he finally sat down in the chair at a table. He sat down there for the whole rest of the day and that night. He just sat there, kept the lights on, and stared straight ahead. The G and H need to be between I and T. I pressed the fast forward button until it was about 9.34. Mindy, you there? I hope you're decent, I'm coming in. Oh my god. Jacob, what? Hello, Emily. What happened to Mindy? I'm afraid you saw something you weren't supposed to see, Emily. Oh god, did, did you do this? Don't come any closer, you psycho. Go ahead, Emily. Run. Oh, gosh. I... I... Oh, God, that's just awful. That guy, Jacob. This was his... This was his girlfriend's dorm. H needed. And she died right next to where I'm standing. I, I think I need to sit down. Are you sure that's a good idea? There's a letter there as well, huh? What's that? It's a letter. It's a note from Mindy, addressed to Jacob. It's a love note. Got Mindy's letter. Dearest Jacob, I know we've been fighting a lot recently, and I've been thinking, even though you weren't there for me on the 29th, you were there for me on the 21st, our anniversary, which makes me wonder if you're just in it for the easy parts, the fun parts, and maybe you are. And even though I should release you, and it'd be best to separate, I just want to let you know that. Climbing through the vents. Climbing through the vents. He's coming through the vents. Damn it, I have to get out of here. Yes, that would be best. Go through the... No, you can't. It's jammed. Press X. Press X sets with X and enter. It's open. I have to run. Yep. Run is the best name, of course, of action. Such randomly placed pots, though. Hmm. Hypothetical, it would seem. Just run to the end of a hallway, and then we won't have to deal with this smug face. But I still wonder if this is going to lead to the same ending, though, because it looks like it's going to be that case. Save again. Yeah, it's just going to lead to the same ending, isn't it? Damn it. Oh, God. I don't want the same ending. Uh... You can walk through trees as well.
Stop, please. I know. Ah, but this is different after all. I know who you are. I know who you are. You're Jacob Miller. You killed your girlfriend, Mindy. That room we were in. That was her dorm, wasn't it? I saw what happened. It was all caught in a webcam. You killed her. You were in a heated argument and your emotions got the better of you. I know what that's like, to let your emotions take control. I can't say I know what it's like to kill someone, but I do know what it's like to hurt someone. Mindy, she loved you, even though you weren't there for her, you know. Procedure. She still loved you. I could see it. Even though it seems like she wouldn't have forgiven you, she would have given you a million chances. Mindy, she was a strong girl. I loved, I loved that about her. I miss her. Everyone thinks I killed her in cold blood, but I really didn't mean to. I panicked at first. I thought, what will everyone think of me? What did I just do? What have I become? So I decided to become the killer everyone thought I was. When I was panicking about what everyone would think of me, I also thought to myself, I could never face him again. I brought this at the party store right after after I offered Emily R and E needed between E and D. She was my friend too. Mindy. Mindy. I miss you. You should read us. It was written by Mindy. Don't go don't go towards him. Dearest Jacob, I know we've been fighting a lot recently, and I've been thinking, even though you weren't there for me on the 29th, you were there for me on the 21st, our anniversary. Which makes me wonder if you're just in it for the easy parts, the fun parts, and maybe you are. And even though I should release you, and it would be the best to separate, I just want to let you know that I could never not love you. No matter what happens, even if we have to separate for a short while, I will always come back. I love you, Jacob. Please don't forget that. Yours forever, Mindy. Damn it! Mindy, I... Mindy. Jacob, I have to know. Why me? I wanted to become a killer they know me to be, but I couldn't bring myself to kill someone I know. You were new. You were the only person in this building that I didn't know. I just... Damn it! I'm not a killer. Mindy, I'm sorry. You are a killer, though. That doesn't make a single difference. Now that's when they roll to the scene lights flashing. Same dialogue. Jacob was holding the knife above me. I didn't move. I had no idea what the hell he was doing, but then I caught a glimpse of his face. His eyes were falling and his brows were n narrowed. He wasn't looking at me, or maybe he was trying not to. I couldn't tell if he had no true intention to kill me. Hmm. Do as I say! But he wasn't listening. I'm sorry, Mindy. Drop a weapon or will be forced to shoot. And shot like that. I turned around and there he was, and in the ground, bullet between his brows. I was crying before I knew what was going on. I had never seen anyone die before, and that's when you ran up to me. And now I'm here because I apparently sprained my ankle while running, and I'm, li I'm a little shaken up. Also, my therapist says it might be best for me to stay here for a while. I agree with him, though. I don't think I'm ready to go back to school yet, either. Therapist? I didn't know you had one, Kate. How long have you been seeing him? Since May, I think. So six months? I see. Anyway, I'm really glad you came to see me. Of course, Kate. But I was so scared for you, Kate. I'm so glad you're okay. I never died 911 in my entire life, so... It was scary. It's okay now, Anne. We're both safe. Yeah, thank goodness for that. Kate, I meant to ask you something. And you don't have to answer if you don't want to, but... 
when you tell Jacob that you know knew what it was like to hurt someone what did you mean by that I was bullied a lot at the college I used to go to a lot of the bullies were from the high school I used to go to in high school I was really overweight and I was constantly bullied for some after I graduated I was determined to lose it all because it bothered me so much I really didn't do it for myself at first either but I did it and I was really proud of myself I purposely went to a small private college to get away from anyone who went to my high school but it turned out that a lot of kids from my school got, got scholarships to go there like I did There was only a few weeks left of classes left and a group of girls caught me at a bad time in the showers. It was the end of a really long day and I just wanted to be clean and alone. The girls that caused me were the worst bullies from my high school. After graduation, the other bullies moved on or forgot about me. But these girls never found anything better to do. I should have known what was coming when I passed through them in the hall. Hey Kate, am I you're walking through the hall with only us? Okay. Look, I'm really not in the mood for this today. Can you just leave me alone? Oh, I think that. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna look, read all this out. You think, okay, I'm just going to point that out as a society thing. You think that people, males specifically, are the worst when it comes to bullying others. Let me tell you right now that just as many incidences in school or in high school or in university when it comes from girl to girl interaction. Hmm. Yeah, you deserve that, you bully. Yeah, but I didn't see what happened beforehand. Hmm. The girls took the picture down but left me alone and no one ever bullied me again. And somehow I avoided charges. My parents got a therapist for me quickly after the incident. I regret it though. Every so often I still see her face turn blue. I still see her gasping for air. Gas well, I still see her gasping for air, gasping for life. I didn't read that correctly. I see her suffering and by my doing, but I moved on. It's in the past. I understand if it's changed your opinion of me. That's terrible, Kate. I know, I wish it never happened. They bullied you for years. I mean, don't get me wrong. What you did was crazy. But if I was being constantly harassed like that, after a while I'd snap too. I'm still your friend, Kate. If you think this changes that, you're wrong. Anne. I mean it. I've only known you for two months, but I know that you are truly a good person. I know that what you did was just a burst of pent-up emotions. Anne, thank you. I'm here for you, don't worry about it. I'd hate to leave you now, but it's six o'clock now. My mom wanted me to want me home half an hour ago. And you've been here for hours. <laughs> How about that? Kate, I'm really glad you told me about your past. I feel like we've really let our walls down. Kate, can we take a picture? What? Come on, we'll take a selfie to document this pleasure friendship. Really, Anne? I'm laying in a hospital bed. I'm not ready for a picture. I'll stop. You still look cute. How cute? The cutest now smile. Nah. 
ending for you no longer have to hide hurt. Fair Pierce, I didn't know you had one, Kate. How long have you been seeing him? Since May, I think. So six months, I see. Anyway, I'm really glad you came to see me. Of course, Kate, but I was so scared for you, Kate. I'm so glad you're okay. I never dealt 911 in my entire life, so it was scary. It's okay now, Anne. We're both safe. Yeah, thank goodness for that. Okay, I'm going to ask you something. You don't have to answer if you don't want to, but... When you told Jacob that you knew what it was like to hurt someone, what did you mean by that? Honestly, Anne, I'd rather not talk about it. Are you sure? Yeah. You shouldn't worry about me, though. I've been getting help for a while now, and honestly, I feel like the worst is behind me. Honestly, you being here for me, being such a good friend, has really helped me, so thank you, Anne. Aw, oh, Kate, I'm glad. But if you ever feel like talking about it, I'm here. Thank you. I'd hate to leave you now, but it's six o'clock now, and my mum wants me home a, while, a, a half an hour ago. And you've been here for hours. I couldn't help but that this hospital had to, has good pizza, and your story? That kept me here too. Oh, <laughs> anyway, thanks again for coming to see me. No problem, Kate, I'll see you later. Nah. Oh snap, before I go, I just realised. We've never taken a picture together yet. And we've been friends for like two months. Oh yeah, you're right. Let's take a selfie. Really, Anne? Okay. <laughs> Is it the same outcome, though? Ending three. Some secret stage secrets. So, it details outlined on the RPG Maker dot net page but there are four endings to this game and we've gotten all four endings to the game in itself so that was a pretty pretty good setup i would say that some of the story within the game is well it, it's probably half and half explained so half of it is quite well explained while the other half is probably like the surrounding mysteries what what was the motive behind jacob to actually killing the two girls in this game. What was the motive aside the fact that uh, Mindy shouted at him and then the other girl walked in and saw the incident after it happened. So yeah, that's all good and fun. So third time lucky we managed to get this game working thanks to the third update of the game as well. Thank you very much developer Courtney for making the game itself. And we shall see each other's folks in another game. Have a good day and take care of yourselves.